We've had people on the podcast that have gone on to sell their company. Like uh, we had one guy who sold his company to GoDaddy. Uh, and it was the first time that his early investors heard the full story um, wow. from the podcast. Like not like they didn't know any, they, you know, they knew they knew that they made the investment and then they knew a couple things along the way, like through the investor updates. But they had no idea the intricacies and the fact that Brian, who was on the podcast, he was a CEO, was like a day away from missing payroll. And he talked about that on the podcast, you know? Any key moments for you guys, any like dark moments where you guys, maybe even just in raising this round during COVID, right? I'm sure you started to raise the round probably at the beginning of this year. Anything you can just give us a sense of like, man, it was not pretty, but we, we found a way. I mean, from my perspective, I don't think we've seen anything like too detrimental. And I think partially that's because whatever we do, we try to think months, months, months in advance because we have the risk versus reward mentality. But I'm sure we've had like a couple of other big mistakes where they gave us a lot of pressure. I think the one that comes to mind for me is um, a production run gone mm-hmm. awry. Uh, so in the CPG world, uh, unlike the software world, you kind of are beholden to co-packers. Co-packers are factories that produce products for a number of companies and you effectively rent time on their machines through agreements. And no one, I guess the lesson that I will describe here is that no one cares about your product as much as you do. Mm. Uh, And so we went through all of these processes of tech. We were launching a new brand, like a new branding, visual refresh. Uh, We were changing our material supplier for our packaging. I'm sure there was a COGS improvement, but I think there was also like a material improvement, barrier improvement. Like it was, it was supposed to be like the coolest launch ever. We were also switching factory. In hindsight, way too many variables at once, mm. but we didn't know that at the time. And what we, you know, physically touched before the production run to like sign off, like, yes, we're okay with making this product. And what came off the line were wildly different. And when we opened that first pouch and pulled the stick out, and I was just like, oh my, this is, I mean, we thought it was trash at the time. This is, a, I'm using very harsh words here. That was the first reaction. We are our own harshest critics. The reality was like, product was totally fine inside. It was very safe. The ceiling was good. It just like the, it was like a candy wrapper, the materials feel. Okay. We all, I was heartbroken, devastated. It was, <laughs> it was, it just really sucks. And I know this may not sound like a, a dark time, but for us, with the moment in time that we were at with some of our investors, like seeing this, it was like, ah, oh, really? This this is bad, guys. Like this is, there was some, some people were recommending we not sell it at all and basically trash the production run and redo it. And that would have killed the company. Yeah, yeah. if we had done that, we, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, so luckily <laughs> we pushed through and yeah. again, like the product was totally safe to consume. It just didn't hit the bar for aesthetics that we wanted. Not that people are necessarily thinking about aesthetics when they buy hydration, which is what we subsequently found. We included an insert with every order saying, look, you know, this was our relaunch. Kind of sucks that it's not perfect. Uh, Because it's not perfect, here's a discount on your next order. And like, we hope you come back to try the the real deal when it comes off the line. And it ended up being totally fine. But the first few moments from like, well, I say moments, it was a couple of weeks from seeing the thing. It's just like, ah, this is just, it sucks. So those are some dark times. Definitely more than a couple of weeks. (laughs) Yeah. A couple months. (laughs) Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, Write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.